Shia LaBeouf is no stranger to controversy, so the thought of a movie about his life telegraphed self-indulgence. But Honey Boy is anything but that. It moves between two time frames, with the LaBeouf character named Otis in the film, played by Lucas Hedges as an adult, going through therapy after a drunken altercation with the police. Reflecting on life with his father, James, Shia LaBeouf himself as a 12-year-old, here played by Noah Duke. James is a damaged creature, a former combat veteran, a former alcoholic, an abuser of women, and certainly an abuser of his son. He's a truly obnoxious person. Otis, at this early age, was beginning his acting career. He employed his father as his chaperone, but his father demeans him at every turn about the size of his penis, about his relationship with the big brother counsellor, Tom. James has ugly relationships with just about everyone around him. They live in a motel complex on the outskirts of Los Angeles, and Otis and the young woman living opposite, also abused by her parent, form a bond. She's Ruby, FKA Twigs. At rehab, Otis is treated by a therapist, a very good Laura San Giacomo. This is an extraordinary film, full of pain. As Otis says to the therapist, the only thing my father ever gave me was pain, and you want to take that away from me? The performances are outstanding. Young Noah Jupe is extraordinary as the young Otis, and Shia LaBeouf so brave in taking on the role of his abusive father. Lucas Hedges is also solid, but actually the film is full of compassion also. It's been directed by Israeli-American Alma Harel and beautifully shot by another woman, Natasha Breyer. It's a completely coherent film as it elides between the two stages of Otis's life. I was so impressed by Honey Boy. It's really moving, really honest. It certainly is. It's lacerating, yeah. this film, in so many ways. It must have been lacerating for LaBeouf to actually to make it, I think, and to play his, his own father. Uh, it, it's extra There are also moments of strange comedy as well. I mean, it, it has yeah. not lighter moments, but, but sort of comic moments that kind of lift it a bit. And it is superbly directed. It's very unexpected in so many ways. It starts off with a shot where the boy is there and he's just screaming, no, no, no. Yeah. And all of a sudden he moves rapidly right through the frame and it turns out he's on a, a huge harness you know, being filmed in his, his day job, as it were. Yeah. And that really sort of takes you yeah. right back at the very beginning. You think, what sort of film is this? This is quite beguiling and absolutely fascinating. I'm going to stick with this. Yeah. Uh, and, and, that, and those sort of surprises follow it right through. She really is a, a remarkable filmmaker, this, this woman. And the, as you say, the photography is, is really lateral and, and different and very exciting. Uh, and I think the other thing that I really liked about this is the way it pulls back the veil of popular entertainment. We can see behind the mask and, as you say, the artifice. We see the pain and the, the horror, the tragedy that lurks behind so much stuff that we laugh at on television, you know, which, uh, you know, or, or are moved by on television. I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, the, the, the one thing that the, the film doesn't address is why is he not with his mother? I mean, she, I mean, there's that amazing scene where she rings and, you know, the young 12-year-old is dealing with this conversation between his mother and his abusive father. Which I must say, I'll interrupt because that, that is absolutely brilliantly staged yeah. because he, he has to act, he's on the phone, his mother's talking, he then has to act being his mother to talk to his father. That and is really act, clever. Oh, I mean, very, very clever sequence. I read later where, in current terms, LaBeouf supports both his parents, which I uh, thought was really lovely, actually, that he is... And at the end of the film, you know, there is that sort of compassionate moment with the father. I'm giving this four stars. I'm giving it four and a half. I was totally and utterly entranced by this, if that's the word. I mean, it's pretty coruscating in so many ways, but it, it just, just moves you so, so much. I thought this was fantastic. Oh, all right. I'll give it four and a half too. You need to get rid of what doesn't work. The only thing my father gave me that was of any value is pain. And you want to take that away? Can I? Mama. 